Good morning, everyone. To everyone listening at home, to everyone watching. Currently, right now, I'm streaming live on one of my platforms, and I want to thank all of them for joining me for this week's podcast. I want to say good morning to those out there that are feeling lost that are feeling afraid, that are feeling empty. It is March 23rd, 2021, and the sky here in Alberta is overcast and cloudy and gloomy. But I'm going to smile my way through the day. And I'm not going to allow the weather or the thoughts steal me away from where I need to be. You know, even now in this moment, as broken as you may feel, you are still very strong. There's something to be said for how you hold yourself together and keep moving, even though you feel like shattering. Don't stop. This is your healing and it doesn't have to be pretty or graceful. You just have to keep going, having that forward motion. You know, sometimes in our lives, especially what we've noticed over the past year is that our power to control our surroundings, our things, our minds, our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions have been taken away from us. And I know I've spoken up in previous podcasts about the pandemic and how it can affect us, but it can affect us more than we even know. And even as a light worker, even as a healer, even as a Reiki master, a medium, a coach, it can affect us. You know, today, even in this moment, as I'm recording this and I'm thinking of everything that's been going on, and happening around me and I can only speak from me and a place of me is life is happening and sometimes when we try to be so strong for so long for everyone else Our ego steps forward and gives us a reality check. Life happens. It's almost like this music, which is entitled Ripples in Time, where when you, when you take a rock and you go down to the river and you go down to the lake or a body of water and you take that flat rock and you toss it in sideways it creates a ripple effect I remember doing that as a child and it it sparked joy in my life how far could we get it could we get it to the other side of the lake but then a storm would happen and a storm would come in and it would start to rain and the rain instead would make those ripples And so our opportunity to control those ripples in our life were taken away. You know, we're so good at taking care of other people and we're so good at taking care of our pets and our children and our friends and our family. But we often get so busy and so lost that we forget to take care of ourselves. We forget to realize that the most important person in our lives is us. We're afraid to love ourselves and we put up walls and we put up barriers that sometimes we can't even get through. We set ourselves up for for failure every single day. We say we're not good enough or we look in the mirror and say, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not strong enough. 
but the truth is you are. The truth is that's your ego feeding you that information to tell you that you are not good enough, that you are not strong enough, that you are not worthy enough, that you are not pretty enough, that you are not beautiful enough, that you are not the right weight. And society has created that stigma. Society has created that mold. We watch TV shows, we look at magazines, and we see, we see that moment of that person and we're like, we admire them, they're beautiful. Why can't I look like that? Or why can't I be like that? Or why can't I have that perfect life? Guess what? There is no such thing as a perfect life. And we need to stop being perfect. We need to stop trying to live up to the expectations of our others and start to live up to our own expectations. And we need to start living our lives. We need to all start grabbing those mirrors and looking in those mirrors and standing in front of the mirrors and telling ourselves that we are worthy, that we are beautiful, that we are mighty, that we are strong, that we are capable, that we are enough, that we are lovable. And if you are a person listening to this, this week's podcast, I want to tell you that you are enough, that you are worthy that you are beautiful just as you are. And it's really hard when our power to control our own lives is taken away. But sometimes it needs to happen for our highest and greatest good. What is? Sometimes we need to stop running away because when we run away from things, it's still there. It doesn't go away. I am so proud of every single person out there right now that is struggling with anxiety or panic attacks or self-worth or self-confidence. There's something that a lot of people don't know about me and I'm going to share it because I feel like it's so very important. From the age of 10 till I was 21 years old, I struggled with my weight, my appearance, how I looked, how I presented myself. I struggled with would anyone love me? Would anyone find me attractive? And so I would eat my food and then I would go into the bathroom and I would force myself to get sick. At 10 years old, my starting weight was 150 pounds. And I even did it while I was pregnant. It's a hard reality. It's something I hope no one ever has to face. 